Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Kenrod here. I'm going to review another cold brew coffee on my coffee break. So stay tuned and see which coffee I'm going to review. Hey everybody. Today I'm going to not review a cold brew, but today I'm going to make a pour over using Java Beans and Joe Guacamole Antigua Coffee Dark Roast. This is a, a dark roasted coffee that has uh, essence of uh, sinistrous and chocolate, and it's it's a dark roast, and this is a very good coffee. I only have about this much left, but I wanted to share with you, um, make a make a pour over with this. So what they do is they. Uh, their beans are very, very shiny because they flush them with nitrogen to make them really, really shiny. And I ground, I took, I measured, I took my scale and I measured out 30 grams of beans. And to save all the noise, I, I went ahead and, and I grounded them up. Hi, welcome, Luis. Thank you for joining me on Periscope. And I ground them up, and they're very shiny beans because they use uh, they flush them with nitrogen. And so I ground it up, and I'm going to use my little pour over here. Thank you for joining me. And I'm going to smells really really good. So I got my I got it in here in a reusable a reusable filter. So here we go. I got my bottom pour uh, kettle. I'm gonna I boiled the water. It goes up to about a hundred. Oh, that's pretty. <laughs> that was pretty smart. Um, about 122 degrees. So we're gonna make a little pour over. I'm gonna um, can't see it, but I'm gonna saturate the beans and see. It's gonna take a minute to. Actually, get this done. I'm using Java beans and Joe Wakamala. They have uh, they have several different flavors. I tried um, a Kenya triple a double A coffee, and it was really good. And I kind of it has when you open up the can, it's sort of like a I guess you would say an oatmeal kind of can because it usually has a seal right here, but you can tell. That I've been drinking it because it's way down here on the bottom. So I just now uh, decided to do a review and see where, where we're at on our pour over. This is a kind of a small pour over. Uh, not not Kimix. It's also a bottom bottom uh, craft here. And let's see how our, our coffee is going to be. It smells really good with them though, as it uh, blooming, which you call blooming, and it's really, really smells good. Uh, you can see uh, the way it looks as it's uh, saturating. And you know what? Usually you use a, a timing. There's, there's a, there's um, kind of a, a routine, I guess you would say. Um, you put so much water in, let it saturate, and then um, after afterwards, uh, it's all timing. But I pretty much this this thing only fills up. It'll fill. It's already filling up. You see. I think we're done. Yep. So I'm gonna take the uh, one that I had the grounds in. I'm gonna put this because it's still dripping. See. So, I'm gonna. Oh, it smells really good. So, I missed yesterday was May the 4th. May the 4th, 4th be with you. So, I decided today, even though it's Cinco de Mayo here in Texas, um, the uh, 5th of May, I, 
I decided to use my Kylo Ren cup because I missed yesterday. So here we go. Let's only use my Kylo Ren. I was a toss up. I have a Stormtrooper um, cup. And I was saying, which one should I use? But I decided to use my Kylo Ren cup. And this makes this this makes about um, eight, eight ounce. Actually, it depends on. But I like to pour a big cup of coffee. Let me set this down here. Oh, it smells really good. I really like this brand of coffee. It's called Java and Beans and Joe. They have different flavors. Oh, I would say flavors. I meant different uh, coffee beans. And this one is Guatemala Antigua. And the one I tried, there's so many. And I had a friend of mine on Facebook that says, Oh, man, I really love that coffee. And I said, Yes, sir, I, I like it too. So... You know, this coffee is really, really hot because usually I let it sit for a minute. But let me, let's try it. Oh, that is so good. Thank you. Hey. Hi, Paula. Welcome, Paula. Appreciate you coming in on Periscope. I'm using uh, Prism Live. And for some reason, not all the comments are coming in. But I uh, I was trying to figure it out the other day, but I got my Kylo Ren cup, and if you haven't seen Star Wars, I won't say anything. The rise, the rise of Skywalker. Oh my, that is so good. It has citrus flavor, and, and you do taste the chocolate. And if you find this, if you find this in your store, pick this up. Again, I it started up over here, but every morning, just about every morning, I've been drinking it, and now I'm down to here. So, and these are pretty good little containers too. You can use it for something else if you want. You down? Can you see? <laughs> Look how shiny those beans are, cause they nitro. Thank you. I had a storm. I have a stormtrooper cup. Well, actually, it's my son's stormtrooper cup, and they bought me this one, Kylo Ren. And so I was trying. To, I was debating which one to use, and so I thought I'll use Kylo Ren. It matches my my kettle, so I, that's why I picked it. This is a bottom bottom kettle. It's really, really, really cool. Um, you just fill it up to a certain level of water inside. It has a little station that you put on top. And you push this little lever, just like a toaster. You push it down, and it stays down till, till the water is heated up. And once the water is heated up, it goes up. And the little light, there's a little light right here. You see it? It, it turns off and you know your water is ready and it is super hot. <laughs> um, my wife, the other day I made her a cup of tea. Hi, Sean. It's Sean O. Welcome. Thank you for joining me. And Periscope. And the uh, comments do burn on the stream. I'm using Prism Live, but for some reason, Twitch and um, YouTube are not showing up. I don't know why, but we'll get it all figured out sometime. And um, thank you for joining me, is Shano. Oh, now it's finally cooling down where you can actually enjoy it. Um, I don't like my coffee too hot because you want to be able to enjoy it, right? And Linda, hi Linda, welcome. Thank you for joining me. I'm having a, a Walla Mala Antigua coffee. It's a dark roasted coffee. It's really good. 
Thank you for uh, sharing and inviting followers. Appreciate it. I, I, <laughs> thank you. So, and this little Kylo Ren, my little cup, it only goes, the coffee only goes from here to here. I wish it would go all the way down here, right? It would be really good to enjoy some coffee. Kiora. Today in San Antonio is actually Cinco de Mayo. And, but yesterday I didn't do a stream. And so I thought I didn't get to do the May the 4th be with you. So today I decided to use my little cup, Kylo Ren. And I have a Star Trooper one, but uh, I just thought it'd be different. So thank you everybody for joining me. Uh, if you get a chance, try this coffee. You, uh, it even has a stamp from the uh, Valamala. So that's pretty cool. And this it has um, it's 100% um, Arapica coffee, nitro flushed to ensure maximum freshness. Yeah, I think it has. I think it's been two, about two years. That was pretty cool. I really enjoyed meeting uh, Louise Poppy. That was really neat. Kind of met at the end of the day, but that was really neat. Thank you for joining me, everybody. And if you get a chance, try that coffee. And if it's not, um, they have different flavors. And I'm going to leave a little uh, video right there for you on YouTube. And then a subscribe button right here. You hit a subscribe button. Thank you, Louisa and Louise. Um, I appreciate it very much for you know, sharing and inviting your followers. And on YouTube, if you want to leave a comment down below on a coffee that you would like for me to try, I'll look it up and see if I can find it here in San Antonio. Thank you very much. Remember, coffee and friends make a perfect blend. Bye, everybody. Thank you for joining me. There you go. Thank you very much. We'll see you next time on Ken Rod's Coffee Review.